In this video, we're gonna show you how to use layer to solutions like a pro. We're talking about Arbitrum, Base and Optimism, and all the ways that you can take advantage of these L to scaling solutions for Ethereum. So let's get right into it. First, let us talk about the benefits of using a layer to solution like Arbitrum or Optimism over using the base layer of Ethereum. The biggest one being that it's cheap, transactions are going to be much cheaper on a layer to solution than they are on the base layer. And right now, we're seeing gas prices on Ethereum kind of skyrocket. It was just a few weeks ago when it cost $5 to send a transaction on Ethereum. Now it's costing closer to $70. So if you can move that transaction off chain onto a layer to solution, you can save yourself a ton of money. But beyond that, there's other benefits too. Arbitrum has very fast speeds. We're talking about transactions going through in 1 to 2 seconds. That's pretty much the same speed as the base layer of Ethereum, but with a fraction of the cost. So that s why we re seeing a lot of projects decide to build on a layer to solution like Arbitrum rather than building on the base layer of Ethereum. And it s also why we re seeing so many users decide to move their tokens over to a layer to solution to save on transaction costs. There's three different main layer to solutions that we're focusing on today. There's Arbitrum, Optimism, and Base. They're all very similar. They're all optimistic rollups. You might hear that term thrown around quite a bit. And essentially what that means is that they retaking a batch of transactions and rolling them up together and then posting them to the base layer of Ethereum once per minute or so. So they're not clogging up the base layer, they're just posting to it a couple times per minute. And then any individual user does end have to pay the high transaction fees associated with posting to the base layer. Instead, they can post to a layer to solution, which is practically free. Let's start by talking about Arbitrum first. Arbitrum is currently one of the biggest layer to solutions out there for Ethereum. It's been around for a little while, it's had a bunch of time to develop and grow. One of the biggest reasons that Arbitrum is so big is because it is extremely developer friendly. There are many more developers building on Arbitrum than there are building on other layer to solutions. If you look at the number of unique addresses that are interacting with smart contracts on Arbitrum versus on Optimism, you'll see that it's roughly three times greater on Arbitrum. A lot of popular applications are building on Arbitrum. So you're naturally going to see a lot more people using it. SushiSwap, for example, has a big presence on Arbitrum. Curve Finance has a big presence on Arbitrum. So if you want to use those applications, then you're going to need to use Arbitrum. Even Ethereum Name Service, ENS, is starting to push into Arbitrum. Recently, they launched their tokenized version of ENS on Arbitrum, meaning that you can actually buy an Ethereum Name Service and own it as an ERC-20 token on Arbitrum. And I think that's really cool. I think that's gonna be the future of ENS. So that's another reason why Arbitrum is so popular. But because it's so popular, you're going to see a lot of activity on the network and that does sometimes cause issues. Arbitrum recently had a bug that caused several million dollars worth of losses. Luckily, most of that was recovered, but it still caused a major headache for a bunch of users and a bunch of developers. Arbitrum is also centralized. A lot of people don't realize that. They have a team of core developers that make decisions for the network and they re the ones who control the network. So if they go away tomorrow, there's no guarantee that Arbitrum continues to function properly. So I personally a, am not a huge fan of Arbitrum, but I do recognize that it is the de facto leader in the space right now. It has the most activity, it has the most development, and so it is definitely a layer to solution that you should be using. Optimism is another one of the big players in the space. It's basically the direct competitor to Arbitrum. In many ways, they're very similar. They're both optimistic rollups. They're both trying to scale Ethereum. They're both trying to make Ethereum cheaper and faster. And Optimism actually came out before Arbitrum, but Arbitrum has since overtaken it in terms of total value locked and total usage. 
Optimism recently did have some downtime due to a bug, but I think that happens with every Elda solution. It happened with Arbitrum. It happened with Optimism. It even happened with Polygon recently, so you got to expect these things to happen. But because of that, I am actually a bigger fan of Optimism, because they were able to recover from that bug and fix it much faster than Arbitrum was able to. And Optimism is also more decentralized. There is a lot of different people making decisions for Optimism, and they re not controlled by a small group of core developers. So it's more decentralized in that regard. But my favorite thing about Optimism is their token op. Op is currently one of the best baits for L2 exposure. So if you want to play the FTT of L2, the FTT of Ethereum Layer 2, then you probably want to be looking at the token op. Op is a governance token. It's a token that gives you a say in how the protocol operates. It's also used for securing the protocol. And we saw that recently when Optimism had their trouble, they were able to use their token holders to secure the network and make sure that bad actors couldn't come in and mess everything up. And it seems like Optimism is gearing up for a big push in the coming months. They've got a bunch of partnerships. They re becoming very well established in the crypto space and I think Optimism is one of the best layer to solutions out there. Finally, we have BASE. BASE is the newest of the three. It was started by Coinbase and they've been pushing it really hard. It's almost like they're trying to force the adoption of it. BASE has some interesting features though. First, it's very developer friendly. Coinbase is making it very easy for developers to port over existing applications from Ethereum to BASE. And they re also offering a bunch of grants and incentives for developers to build new applications on BASE. And secondly, BASE has some nice features built in. For example, there's going to be a tokenized version of ENDS on BASE, so you'll be able to buy Ethereum domain names as tokens. And they're also planning to introduce NFT support with BASE. So it will natively support NFTs on BASE, whereas Arbitrum and Optimism do not natively support NFTs. You have to jump through some hoops to do it. With BASE, it's supposed to be very easy to mint NFTs, to trade NFTs, and to use NFTs on the network. But the biggest problem with BASE is that it's centralized. It's owned by Coinbase and there's no real way to escape that. Coinbase is a centralized exchange. They have control over the network. They could theoretically censor transactions if they wanted to. And you have to trust them to do the right thing. And I think a lot of people in crypto don't like that idea. I know I don't like that idea. So this may be a reason that you choose not to use BASE, but BASE is definitely one of the most exciting layer to solutions out there. I think it's the one to watch. It's the one that's gonna surprise everyone. No one thought that BASE would be this good, but it is shaping up to be a very viable option for developers and it could easily overtake Arbitrum and Optimism in the coming months. So which one should you use? Well, I personally like Optimism. I like BASE. I think those are both very exciting. But I also recognize that Arbitrum is the de facto leader in the space. So if you're looking to use Arbitrum, here's how to do it. If you're an Ethereum wallet user, which is probably where most of you are, then it's super easy. All you have to do is go to your wallet and connect it to Arbitrum. You can do that by clicking this button here. Once you click that, you've connected your wallet to Arbitrum. You can then transfer your tokens over to Arbitrum. Again, super simple. Just click the button and you're good to go. Once you have your tokens on Arbitrum, you can start using whatever application you want. Whether you're using SushiSwap, Curve, ENS, whatever it is, it's going to work exactly the same way that it does on the base layer of Ethereum. You're going to interact with the same contract, you're going to interact with the same interface, everything is going to be the same. The only difference is that you're saving on transaction costs. If you're not using a popular wallet, then you can actually download a browser extension called Orbit Break. This will allow you to connect any wallet to Arbitrum. So if you're using something like MetaMask, then you can use this tool to connect to Arbitrum. Same thing with Optimism and Base. If you want to use Optimism, you can go to your wallet and connect it to Optimism. 
Or if you're using a browser extension, then you can connect your wallet to Optimism through that. Same thing with Base. Really easy to use. And with Base, they have a feature called Bridge Wallet, which allows you to create a Base wallet directly from your Ethereum wallet. So if you're on Ethereum, you can click the button, you can bridge over your tokens to Base, and you can create a Base wallet. And you don't need to download a separate wallet. You can just use the Bridge Wallet feature. Super simple. I hope this video was helpful. If you're interested in learning more about any of these layer to solutions, I'll leave a bunch of resources down below. As always, stay tuned for more content. We have a ton more videos coming out.